Hey everyone, and welcome to day 14 of my horror movie review marathon, and I've got the Grudge movie review. There is a grudge that is being held against this house in Japan, and anyone who sets foot in it, will anyone survive? As far as the story goes, this is a remake of the Japanese film Juwan, which has this American girl who is studying abroad in Japan with her boyfriend and working as a caregiver for the first time as a replacement for this one girl who had not shown up for work that day. This story I found to uh, you know be quite interesting with how they set it up, going back and forth between these two different timelines with the house as the setting where this one family is moved in and they bring their elderly mother there who is going to be cared for by these caregivers. Bad things start to happen left and right throughout the entire film between these two different timelines. Now I found it really interesting that they were trying their best to connect the storylines and you sort of knew as soon as one event happened another one was going to explain how that all sort of came to be and I actually really liked that concept. So as far as the casting goes, you've got Sarah Michelle Gellar who plays this woman named Karen and she is sort of unfamiliar about being in Japan even though it's her dream to be here and I actually loved her in this movie. Of course, she's no stranger to the horror genre as I was reviewing uh, other movies like uh, Scream 2 and I Know What You Did Last Summer. So I think she definitely has a good fit here and she definitely played it cooler in this movie even though yes, you could tell when she was still scared and I absolutely just loved her in this movie. And then you've got Jason Bear who uh, plays her boyfriend and he may not have as many scenes in this movie, but the scenes that he does have, I think, are also pretty cool because you uh, get to see some of his vulnerabilities as well and trying to be there for uh, his co-star. And then you've got some other actors in this movie, one of which is Bill Pullman, who we do see in the beginning of the film. And then we see him periodically throughout uh, in certain scenes in this movie to sort of explain more of his uh, influences with this character that he plays. And it's just all kind of interesting how it all sort of went down. And I mean really went down. Of course I have to give props to the one uh, chick in this movie who plays Yoko whose name is also Yoko in real life, and she's, you know, pretty scary in this movie when she's on the screen. With all that black hair, it makes me think my hair gets put to shame anyway. Uh, so as far as the things that I did like about this movie, uh, I, I think this movie is pretty terrifying. It's scary from start to finish, and in some of these various scenes that I... Uh, still get freaked out about even though I've seen this movie a million times and uh, I do jump when I see that little boy and he scares me like so many times especially when I hear that creepy noise coming out of his mouth or somebody else's mouth but unfortunately the things that I didn't really like about this movie I know this might seem like a nitpick but I couldn't tell if some of the uh, characters were being CGI'd when they were moving or it's just like a weird effect that the the camera was doing but it just it looked really weird and I don't always like seeing stuff like that uh, because it just looks really fake to me. Can ghosts really do that? Like moving down the stairs look all freaky. So. I don't know, it just looked really weird, but that's the only thing that I did not 
uh, really care for uh, to see in this movie. Otherwise, everything else, it was all just, ugh, gave me chills. So overall, I would say that The Grudge is still pretty terrifying to this day. It's been out for, I, I feel like, almost nearly a decade. So that's pretty amazing that I still, like, love this movie. So I would recommend seeing this movie. I have yet to see the original to this, so maybe sometime in the future I will do that and then maybe review it for you guys if you really want to see that. So I would give this four hearts on the heart rate scale. So let me know in the comments what you guys thought of The Grudge and come back tomorrow for day 15 of my horror movie review marathon. And as always, you guys can subscribe to my channel. I've got my movie reviews, movie updates. Come back every week for a Trail Thursday video. You guys can also like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And I will see you guys later.